I'm Stickney Golf Magazine Top 100 Instructor and today we're going to take a look at our set makeup and how important it is that you have the right set makeup. Obviously I play tailor-made, so I have a driver. With my driver I want to make sure that the loft is set correctly. I want to make sure that I have the driver tuned the way I want so I can have the right ball flight. From there we want to look at your three wood. We want to make sure that the three wood has the right type of loft. Okay, my driver has 8 degrees, so I want to make sure that it's separated by 4 degrees, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have a 12, 13 degree 3 wood so I can have the proper gaps between my driver and my 3 wood so I don't have any huge yardage discrepancies between the two. Now, when I move into a 3 wood, the next thing we look for are hybrids or fairway woods. Well, I personally am not very good with hybrids and fairway woods, so I have an old 2 iron. Now, I know that 2 irons are not exactly the most uh, prevalent things in people's bag now. But you can see that this old tailor-made 2-iron has a lot of offset, it's a very big head, and it's a lot easier to hit. So I am working around one of my weaknesses, and that's hitting hybrids. So if you have trouble with long irons, hybrids, fairway woods, what have you, you there are options, and you can choose what works best for you. From there, I move down into a 3-iron, a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pitching wedge. Okay, those are my normal irons. Well, obviously, it's what most of you have in your set. Now, from here, I work into my 54-degree wedge and my 60-degree wedge. I personally cannot hit a 56-degree wedge 100 yards. So what I tended to do was take a 54-degree wedge and make sure that with that added uh, extra little bit of club, I can hit it just a little bit farther without me having to jump on it. So I take the 54-degree wedge and the added uh, ability to hit a little bit further as opposed to my 56. Therefore, I'm working around one of my other weaknesses, and that's making sure that I hit the ball the right distance without too much effort. From there, I move into a 60-degree wedge. That does violate the 6-degree or the 4-degree gap that we want, but what I want with a 6-degree gap is I want a little bit more control around the greens. So for me to have a 54-degree wedge and a 60-degree lob wedge, even though that's six degrees of gap, that doesn't hurt me too much around the greens because I seldom hit my lob wedge very full. So remember, when we look at drivers and fairy woods and long irons and hybrids and putters and the whole gamut, take the time to get fit. Make sure that you have a set that works for you personally. Once again, I don't like hybrids for me myself personally, so I use a two iron. I don't hit my 60 degree wedge or my 54 degree wedge very far, so I'm gonna make sure I have the right loss to do what I'm capable of. Take the time to get your set makeup correct, and you're going to be a lot better, I promise.